Hello, Fallon's Book Club. Hey. Today, Fallon has picked out... What is it? A book of fairy tales. And who's it written by? Um, Mary Hoffman. Illustrated by? Julie Downing. All right, which story are you reading? I don't know. It tells me right here which one I have. What is that page called? Uh, the Table of Contents. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's read Little Mermaid. How about The Fisherman and His Wife? Let me see. Okay. What page? Uh, 62. 23. 93. 90. We're going to 62, crazy. 66. 64. Yay, we found it! 63. Ah. What's it called again? The Fisherman and His Wife. Alright, try and keep your book still today and make sure you read loud. There was once a poor fisherman who lived with his wife in a hunt by the sea. Every day he went to, the, to fish in the sea with, with his rod and line. One day he caught a huge flounder who begged not to be killed. I am an enchanted prince, it said. I wouldn't his nest at all, but put me back in the put me back in the water. When the fisherman came back empty home empty handed his wife scolded him. Have you caught nothing today? Nothing but an enchanted prince, replied the fisherman. Did you ask for a reward? Go back, you fool, and ask for a horse. A house. A house. Flounder, flounder, come to me, called the fisherman, and the magic fish came back. I'm sorry, but my wife wants a new house. In return of, for saving you. Go home, said the flounder. And the fisherman went home and found his wife in the sweetest little cottage. But the wife wasn't satisfied. Go back and ask for a castle, she demanded. With the fisherman, so the fisherman went back to the sea and called the flounder again. When he got home this time, he found a huge castle with towers and a drawbridge. This is more like it, said his wife. But before long, she sent him back to the sea again. This time, she wanted to be the king. And that night, the fisherman returned to a king's palace. Next, the wife wanted to be the emperor. When the fisherman got back from the errand, from that errand, from that errand, he could hardly find his wife in the vast emperor palace. An errand is a task, something mm -hmm. to do. She was surrounded by guards and servants. Surely you are happy now, wife, pleaded the fisherman. She thought for a bit and then said, No, I want to be God. The fisherman went back to the flounder with a heavy heart. She wants to be God, she whispered. Go home, said the flounder. And when the fisherman returned home, he found he found his, his weeping wife back in their poor old hunt. hut. What's a hut? But it's like a small little house with a, usually like a star or thatch roof, but it's something temporary that most people don't live in long term. Hut. How come? Because it wouldn't withstand the elements. Keep going. That's the end. Oh, that's the end? See? Mm-hmm. Want to read another one? Yeah. Let's go back to the contents. Hmm. I'm sure y'all haven't heard this one. Let's do the selfish giant. I've never heard of it. Selfish giant? Okay. First page. Page 14, silly. It's only one page. There was once a giant who wasn't nice at all. He went away to visit a friend and didn't come back for seven years. While he was away, children came to play in the giant's lovely garden. They were happy and forgot all about him. Oh, look, it has her um, trees that I will have. <sighs> then the giant came back. What are you doing, he bellowed, and all the little children ran away. So the giant built a tall wall and put up a notice, warning the children to keep out. At first, the giant was pleased, but he noticed no, that no birds came and sang in his garden anymore. And worse, it was always winter. 
The giant became sad. Then one morning, the song of a bird woke the giant. He looked out and saw that the children had come back. They had crept through a hole in the wall, and now the garden was full of flowers and birds. The giant tore down the wall and promised never to be selfish again. That was a good one. Do you know what the point of fairy tales are? Mm -mm. They teach us a moral. What do you think uh, the lesson is about the selfish giant? No, don't be selfish. Because why? Because um, then people won't want to be with you. Well, not just that, but sometimes what you wish for ends up not being the best thing. Think about the lady who kept wanting more and more and more. She wanted more. Then when she got it, was she happy? No. Nah. She wanted what? More and more to the point that she couldn't have anything that she wanted because she just couldn't be happy, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the point of the fairy tale is to teach us a lesson. So our lesson about the selfish giant is, hey, if you're selfish, not only will you be alone, but you might not realize the things that you do love by being selfish, you take it away. That's really sad. Mm -hmm. I don't like the more of the story. <laughs> The moral of the story is to not be selfish. Because look, now that he's not selfish, he's happy and loved. How come that tree is not the same as the other trees? I don't know. I think it might be an evergreen. Maybe. Looks like it. An evergreen is a tree that goes year round. Never mm. falls any leaves. And it's always green, which means every season it's green. Evergreen. Yep, like that one. Like the Christmas tree you have at Christmas. Grandpa said, I like fishing and no cat. <laughs> he also said that the moral is to share and enjoy life, not be selfish with it. Mm-hmm. That's how we should be, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, those are our two stories today. You want to show everybody what the book looks like again in case they're interested in it? It's called A First Book of Fairy Tales. I think we got this at Ollie's. Can you turn around and see? Mm, we did get this to Ollie's. I just remember taking the sticker off. But Ollie's has a lot of really great books and a ton of fairy tale story books. So if you need a good bargain on some books, Ollie's is our absolute favorite place. Beats any secondhand store. All right. We will see you guys tomorrow at what time, Fallon? 7 o'clock on the dot. Thanks for joining. Bye.